Let's say you want to test out if an app you made in a Google spreadsheet is working as it should. Then generating test data comes in pretty handy. For example, you created an event signup app from a spreadsheet and want to see how accurately it handles a large volume of users choosing their preferred sessions from a form while keeping the capacity of a session in mind when providing the user's options. It's possible to insert data that simulates the responses of 150 users, for example, via a custom button in your spreadsheet. Welcome to the Sheets to App Show, where we talk about how to tame these tabular beasts into productive applications. In this episode, I will share how you can use another activity signup app that's hosted on the G Suite Solution Gallery. But this one has a way to create test data with a click of a button, created by my peer, Stephen Basil. Upon making a copy of the sheet, which is linked in this video's description, you find a custom menu called Activities that is created with an app script that you can visit by clicking Tools, Script Editor. This menu appears every time the sheet is opened, thanks to using an on-open trigger. Several options are displayed as a dropdown, the first one creates a form from the sheet's activities and specifically organizes these activities as a grid of options in order to allow the user to rank their top five activities. The second option called Generate Test Data helps you create 150 test responses at random. The function called Assign with Random Priority in the script randomly selects activities, which you can learn more about the procedure for dividing indivisible items fairly among a group of people in the Wikipedia link listed below. The results from the randomized selections are then populated into two new sheets, one listing activities per person, the other listing the roster for each activity. And data is added through a range, which is more efficiently entered into the sheet rather than a for loop. Also note the script checks that an activity still has capacity to avoid booking conflicts. Hopefully you try out how to create your own randomized data for testing purposes. If you found this helpful, please click like and subscribe to the channel to receive future episodes. Cheers.